Hi students, welcome to the science class. In today's session, we are going to start or we are going to study your new lesson that is physical and chemical change. So, in your daily life, you are going to see some of the changes in your homes, some of the changes you are going to observe in your home. For example, if your mother told to you to dissolve uh, uh, some amount of the sugar into the water to make a sugar solution. So, you have to clearly observe over here, you are going to dissolve the sugar into the water, that is the sugar changes. It's its physical property will be completely dissolves into the water, isn't it? Somewhat changes happens here. Sugar it is present in the crystal form, but when you are going to dissolve into the water, it completely dissolves. We can't see that sugar particles. And another one example I am taking here, if the your mother going to add a small amount of the curd into the hot water, what happens here? The hot water uh, becomes when they when she is going to add small amount of the curd into the hot water. The after sometimes the wa the water sorry the hot the curd into the milk here hot milk not a water the milk it becomes turns to curd here so it is somewhat changes happens here isn't it due to the adding of the curd you are adding only some so only only few amount only small amount of the curd into the milk but the milk completely changes into the curd here that is under one change you are observing and also when you are going to add the curd into the milk the taste of the milk also changes before the milk it does not has the sour taste but when you are going to add the curd into the milk it somewhat changes its taste the isn't it the taste of the milk it is changes to sour and under one under one example, when your mom to when your mom try to do uh, try to make the paneer, he, he used to add some, some amount of the drops of the lemon juice into the milk, isn't it? So before adding that the lemon juice into the milk, the milk doesn't has the sour taste, but after onwards it has somewhat sour, isn't it? These are all changes which you are going to see in your home. So these are some of the examples which that is the changes which you are going to see in your home. I am taking one example here, take a paper, take a paper and you have to tear the paper into four pieces you have to tear the paper into two into four pieces and take one piece of that paper again tear that paper into four pieces if you consider this is an a piece of a, this is an a piece of a paper you have to cut into cut it into four pieces and take one piece again you have to cut it into four pieces and that, take all that pieces and arrange on a table arrange on a table is it you get the same structure as before the paper is there by joining by joining by arranging the pieces of that paper is it you get the same structure of the paper as it is present in the before yes we get but it is very difficult to join the papers but you get the same structure here but there is a no change in the property see here the structure will be changes structure but there is a no change in the property of the paper. Is there any change in the property of the paper? No, there is no any change in the property of the paper here. Next, I am taking another one example here. Collect, collect some of the chalk dust from your classroom. Chalk dust. Or you have to make, <coughs> you have to collect the chalk dust from a chalk and pour some water into that chalk dust, make a paste of the chalk powder and roll it and roll it that chalk paste and you have to dry it in the sunlight would you get the same the same size of the chalk from the chalk powder if you are going to take one piece chalk powder if you are going to take the one piece chalk one chalk piece powder if you are going to make the chalk piece by that chalk powder is it same size of that chalk piece no the size is somewhat changes here so that is second one example that is a size isn't it that is a size here and a third one example i am taking here so take some water in the container take some water in the container and starts to boil it 
starts to boil it what happens the water is presently in a liquid state if you are going go on boiling that water go on giving the heat to that water the water will be get to vaporized isn't it presently the water will be in the liquid state it changes to vapor state that is state of the water that is state physical state that is state of the water we are going to see here the state of the water we can see here and take a piece of the a piece of a blade or take a piece of a blade hold it with the help of the holder and place uh, the free side of the blade to a glowing gas glowed gas isn't it and wait for some times what happen here when you are going to give the more heat to that uh, that the to the blade the side of the blade the color of the blade you have to observe clearly here after some times the color of the blade turns to red isn't it due to the heat due to the heat given by us the color of the blade will be changes to red therefore it is under one that is change we are observing here color we are observing the color so see these are all that we are we are observing the changes that is structure size state color so these are all the physical properties of any matter so the uh, physical these are all the physical properties the properties like the change in the property of the structure change in the property of the size change in the property of the state change in the property of the color so the changes occurs or change in the change in the physical property change in the physical property of the materials change in the physical property of the materials or change occur in the physical property of the materials that change it is called it as a physical change that change is called it as a physical change and the properties all these properties are called it as the physical properties these are all properties are called it as physical properties the changes done in the physical characteristics of a material that change is called it as a physical change and the, all the characters are called it as a physical properties here so the what is meant by the physical change is here the change in the size change in the state change in the color change in the structure these are all the change in the physical property of a matter it is known as the physical change is it clear it is known as a physical change but sometimes you what then now we are going to study the another one change another one different type of the change that is the chemical change now it is familiar that what we know what is meant by the physical change now we are going to study what is meant by the chemical change it is you are familiar with the rusting of the iron isn't it when you are going to place the iron in a open area the iron reacts with the oxygen and the water which is present in the air and it becomes rusted isn't it the rusting of the iron why it will be rusted here why it will be rusted see remember i am giving under one example here take a piece of a magnesium ribbon take a piece of a magnesium ribbon and you have to wash it with the help of the sandpaper remember imagine that it is a piece of a magnesium ribbon wash it with the help of the sandpaper and bring the one side of the magnesium ribbon towards a lighted candle towards a lighted candle what happens here the magnesium ribbon reacts with the oxygen and it will be burns with the high bright of light it it produces the high brightness light it burns with the high brightness light and after some times the magnesium ribbon completely after some times the magnesium ribbon completely burns and 
so it produces it produces some of the ash ash of the magnesium ribbon we can get here so you have to remember here you have to come up you have to clearly observe here when you are going to burn a magnesium ribbon we it produces a, a bright light a bright light bright light and take the ash which we are going to get by the burning of the magnesium and now that is a, the reaction we are going to write it the burning of the magnesium ribbon that is mg plus o2 with when we are going to heat it, it we get the magnesium oxide see magnesium burns with the help of the oxygen which is present in the classroom in that room so the reaction it is magnesium reacts with the oxygen we get magnesium oxide that is nothing but the ash so take that ash and mix with the some amount of the water take that ash ash is nothing but magnesium oxide mixed with some amount of the water what we get here and a solution and a solution and now you have to now you have to you have to check this solution with the help of the blue and red litmus paper check this solution the solution of magnesium ash with the water you have to check that solution with the help of the blue and red litmus paper which litmus paper shows the change in the color is it red litmus paper shows the change in the color or the blue litmus paper shows the change in the color as here the red litmus paper shows the change in color why because when the magnesium oxide the magnesium oxide is nothing but the ash mixed with the water this is a metallic oxide the metallic oxide mixed with the water it forms in every time or in generally the metal always reacts with the water it produces the basic solution that is magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide so when magnesium oxide reacts with the water we get magnesium hydroxide this is the basic solution why because how we are going to get the confirmation from the blue litmus paper sorry from the red litmus paper we got the confirmation here this solution it is a basic solution why because the red litmus paper turns to blue here so that shows it is a basic solution so when we are going to burn a ribbon we get a two different things that is one it is the we get the bright light that is first thing and the second thing is we get the magnesium oxide it is a new compound and the third is we get third compound third new element that is magnesium hydroxide but when you are going to see the physical change is it get any new substance so the physical change it is nothing but it does in the physical change we doesn't get any new compound for example the sugar solution i am taking sugar solution again here you already know how you are going to separate the sugar from its solution when you are going to boil the water you get the sugar particles which you are dissolved in water so the it, it, it is it is not a, it is we are not going to get any new compound in that but when we are going to consider a chemical reaction we we see here two different compounds are produced from the magnesium that is magnesium oxide and the magnesium hydroxide these are the two new compounds here i am taking another one example here so that is nothing but the rusting of the iron rusting of the iron iron it is nothing but the ferrous when the ferrous when the ferrous reacts reacts with the oxygen present in the room and and also the water component what happens here it forms it forms fe2o3 that is known as the it this is known as the rust isn't it when 
the ferrous reacts with the oxygen and the water which is present in the air the rust will be formed so what here the ferrous it is reacts with the oxygen we get the new compound here so in any reaction in any reaction if we get the different components if we are going to get the different components then that reaction it is called it as a chemical reaction so again i am going to explain here what is a chemical change or a chemical reaction in any change if we are going to get it new different compounds in any change there is a new compounds are produced if the change is happens if two new compounds are produced or more than two new compounds are produced then that change it is called it as a chemical change is it clear so what is the difference between physical change and the chemical change here in a physical change we doesn't get any new compound but in the chemical change we are going to see two different compounds are formed here and also you have to remember when the chemical changes happens we are going to see another different things see here heat will be a load some of the chemical changes in the some of the chemical reactions we are going to see heat will be evolved or absorbed heat will be evolved or absorbed evolved or absorbed from the magnesium ribbon experiment is it clear that the burning of any substance it is a chemical change it is not a physical change but a tearing of a substance substance it is a physical change heat will be evolved or absorbed in a chemical change and new compound will formed isn't it new compound will formed and color will changed color will changed color will changed and smell will changed smell it is nothing but odor odor will changed odor will change and also we can get the light light and radiations then that change it is called it as a physical change in any change we can observe these characteristics if the if any in, in any change if the heat is evolved or heat is absorbed if new compound is formed if the color of the substance will be changed if the odor that is smell of the compound will be changed or the light if, if the change radiates the light or radiations then that change it is called it as a chemical change is it clear so the what is the physical change and what is chemical change so one of the example i am taking here that is the rusting of the iron if you have to remember the rusting of the iron causes lots of damages isn't it we are going to use number of iron metals for to make the roads for to make the houses isn't it we are going to use number of iron metals large amount of the iron metals to make the dams isn't it water dams and also we are going to use the large amount of the iron metal in the construction of the boats but it is it, if it is corroded and if it is corroded its lifetime will be decreases if the iron will be corroded if its its lifetime will be decreased and it will be very very easily it will be very easily and very quickly what happens it is discarded so that why we are going to take care the we are going to prevent the rusting of the iron how we are going to prevent the rusting of the iron so we are going to prevent the rusting of the iron by painting by painting by painting around the iron materials we can prevent by its rusting and by galvanizing by galvanizing what is galvanization what is galvanizing here galvanizing it is nothing but uh, it is a application or we are going to apply a layer of zinc coat on the iron metals that is known as the galvanization by applying a zinc coat on the iron metals we can prevent that iron metals from the 
from the corrosion that is nothing but the rusting so by painting by galvanizing by oiling we can prevent the iron metal from the from the rusting so in this chapter another one most important topic it is nothing but crystallization crystallization what is crystallization so in in previous classes you studied about how we are going to separate the how we are going to separate the melted dissolved salt particles which are present in the water you are going to heat the solution to get the salt particles to back but so what what is what happens here the process of conversion of or the process of formation of the crystals the the salts which are get from that boiling of the water it is the crystals isn't it so the process of formation of the crystal it is known as a crystallization the process of formation of the crystals for example i am again taking if you are going to mix some amount of the sugar into the water sugar it is presently in the crystalline form when you are going to dissolve the sugar into the water it completely dissolves but you are going to heat that solution for a some times until the water completely the water will be boils out or vaporizes out you are again get that the sugar particles in the powdered form or the crystal form that is known as the crystallization the crystallization it is nothing but the process of formation of the crystal it is known as the crystallization so in this chapter you are going to study what is meant by the physical change what are the physical properties what is meant by the chemical change what are the properties of the chemical change properties of the chemical changes are where the heat is evolved or absorbed new compound will be formed color of the compound will be changed smell or odor of changes and light it radiates so light so these are all the properties of the chemical change here and also you know how we are going to prevent the rusting of the iron and also you studied one of the another one important topic that is crystallization so this completes your another one most important chapter that is physical and chemical change in next session we are going to continue your next lesson thank you